There is a legend about a man who fought Tempo Storm and F2K Giants toe-to-toe -to -toe and managed to earn their respect. An outstanding player that will never ever play aggro because he is just too cool for it. He has been showing a stellar performance in the past year and it's time you heard his story. This is Sakyan628. Eddie Sakyon 628 Lu was born in Canada on July 22, 1994. Shortly after, he returned to his family back home in Hong Kong where he spent most of his school years. This is where he got his start in card games. He played Yu-Gi-Oh for 7 years extensively and missed the World Championship by one game in 2011. And at that moment, his competitive spirit and drive to play competitive card games finally ignited. When he made his way back to Vancouver after finishing high school in 2014, he discovered Hearthstone but only played arena mode for two years before quitting. However, his love for making larger and larger men with Jade Druid got him into Constructed in early 2017, since he is stuck to playing control or anti-control decks regardless of the latter or tournament meta. Sohyun knew what he liked, and he played what he knew. It was around this time that Eddie began playing mini tournaments online to improve. Upon finding Kyoto's daily tournaments, he would go on to win 4 out of 5 of them in the first week. Kyoto Esports, seeing the potential there, signed him for the team as their captain with 6 other players. Kyoto would afterwards be the catalyst that helped him travel around the world and play Hearthstone competitively. The potential that Kyoto saw in him was not misplaced. Sohyun's success led him to the spring playoffs in 2017 without any effort from his end. After getting beaten in the first playoffs by Terei, one of the players in Endemic, Sohyun finally saw the level of play that was sitting at the top of the food chain, and he knew it was a long road to get there. However, he was dead set on making that journey and had his friends Terei and Killin' All Day help him improve and practice. Before he could play in his second playoffs that year, he decided to take his chances at Dreamhack Montreal in September to see how far he could make it. He ended up in the finals and lost to the legendary Muzzy. He would then go on to play in the summer and winter playoffs that followed that year but was only able to see some moderate success. But Sohyun was determined. By the end of 2017, he played the Tespa Collegiate Championship, making it to the top 16 with his college teammates. It was at that point that he began his foray into Hearthstone coaching on Gamer Sensei. Getting rave reviews from his students that always asked for more sessions, he ended up doing over 600 hours of coaching in 2018. It was at the beginning of 2018 that Eddie decided to take a break from school and go full forward with his Hearthstone career. In January, he participated in Rat Race, a competition to see who could make Legend the fastest from rank reset, which was 16 at the time. He streamed his climb non-stop and ended up second in the end. Satisfied with the outcome, but little does Sakya know that this was only the start of his phenomenal streak. During this time, Eddie's family were going through a lot of struggles. His mom lived separately from him and his sisters for work, but despite that, his family still supported his career. His oldest sister especially was very proud of his achievements. Sakyun admitted that he did not even know that his sister kept up with his performances. This only motivated Sakyun to try harder and be better. His first tour stop in 2018 would be top 8 in Copa America. He then went on to finish top 16 in EGLX Toronto and DreamHack Montreal, and top 8 in HCT Oakland and Seoul. He even tried to achieve top 10 on Hearthstone team standings with his teammates Caravaggio and Villain, but they just barely missed it. During this time, he still played High Legend Ladder, but the tournament scene was where he was beginning to stand out. With this series of explosive results, more and more eyes started to fall on this Canadian legend. Before committing to Hearthstone full-time, Sohyun set two goals for himself, getting the coveted golden card back and winning a tour stop. Only thinking he would complete one of those goals, he finally made it to top 8 by finishing 6-1 in the Swiss stage of the summer playoffs of 2018, granting him the coveted golden card back that he wanted. In November that year, he went on to participate in DreamHack Atlanta. Sahyan brought Clone Priest, an unpopular deck at the time, and started off shaky in the tournament but managed to end up in the top 16. To get to the finals, he would have to defeat his friend and another member of Endemic, Swaggy G, in the top 8. However, through his persistence and skillful play, he made it to the finals to face Team Genji Sintolol. Going in, he felt unfavored due to bans, but ultimately overcame the odds and became the DreamHack Atlanta champion, and achieving his second goal. Boom! So huge! Three games to one over Sintolol to become the DreamHack Atlanta champion! Sohyun is not only a skillful player, but an amazing member of the Hearthstone community. He inspired countless players to begin to compete in Hearthstone with his coaching and story. One of them being another player from Vancouver. Bobby X, a second year college student without any prior competitive experience, practiced with Sohyun and after traveling to multiple tour stops, he finally achieved his breakout performance by also obtaining the coveted golden card back and qualifying for the Winter Championships in 2019. He went on record to say that Sohyun was a personal inspiration and that he wishes he could one day be as good as him. 
2018 is now behind us, and it's the dawn of a new age in Hearthstone with new teams on the horizon. Lazarus, an up-and-comer in the Hearthstone's esports scene, wanted to develop their first Hearthstone roster. To start, they added the HCT Fall Champion Language Hacker and HCT Fall Runner-Up Bloodyface, but they needed a third to complete their lineup. Language Hacker and Sohyun knew each other well, being fellow Canadian players. Language Hacker would vouch for Sohyun's inclusion in the team, and it didn't take long for Lazarus to sign him on. Sohyun has stated that he believes in both of his teammates and looks forward to what this powerhouse team can achieve this year. No matter what the competitive format ends up being for this year's Hearthstone Esports, we know that this will be the team to watch. Especially our local favorite, Sohyun628, whose reign is just beginning. Give him a follow on Twitter so you can keep up with his success and journey to the World Championships. We believe in him and you should too. As always, thanks for watching and we will see you next time.